previously on the Budget Bike Battle Alpine. 10 mil. Problems with the Bandit. Spanner. Problems with the Euro Tunnel. Are we all right? Yeah. And there's mutiny in the ranks. Anyway, another day. No, 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 but, but, no, 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 hang on, hang on, because we've, we've just, no. just quickly, we've, 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 no, we've gone through. You have highlighted every single issue that my bike had. <laughs> the budget bike battle. Alpine, sponsored by BOTB. Yalla lili. For as little as 20p, you can win a brand new bike that's much, much better than ours. All thanks to the fine folk at BOTB. Head on over to the website and check out the extensive list of sexy steeds. So good morning everyone. I'm just uh, trying out my muffs that I've just loaded onto my winning motorcycle. Oh. Winning. And, um, winning. Winning. And I'm just waiting for old Fanny Pack to uh, sort himself out. Which way are we going then, Governor? Um, I think. I think you he's alright, we'll give it a go. You think? I think. So uh, we're just on our way to a whoa. wicked. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got a speed bobble as soon as I take my hands off the bars. Okay, well, fucking don't take your hands off the bars, you fucking thick. Chin out. So we're on our way to a abandoned racetrack. We're in Ras, spelt Ream. Oh, right, okay, you're going left, are you? Yeah. Thanks for the indication. Um, and uh, we're going to go for a, a final, well, a, a hello, really, because we haven't even had a chance to do that yet. Because we've been right down. Uh, yeah, so we're going to give you a, 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 a proper rundown and a hello. And, uh, a bonjour. A bonjour from uh, sunny, freezing France. Oh my god. Okay, I need to adjust my clutch lever, the muffs are pulling it on. <laughs> well, the Hornet feels good this morning. So does the Bandito, oh, I've got to say. What a Yeah, I've, uh, my clutch has gone. What, really? Yeah, pretty much. What, worse, worse than was it? Well, worse since you fiddled with it. Your, your bike smells really fuely. Is it? Not burnt fuel, like fuel. Oh. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like that. Do you really like it? Oh, my bike's fat. What's wrong with it? It's fat. Yay! <laughs> What's wrong with it? Fuck. Hey! Oh, mate, it smells of fish as well. For fuck's sake. Mate, just stop here next to that church. Pull in on the right. Pull in on the right. Stop. <laughs> it's broken. What happened to it? It's what? It's fucked. What happened to it? Just started misfiring. And then popped and banged and fucking all sorts. And now it smells of shit. Smells funny, didn't it? Smells like fish. Well, it smelt really fuelly, which I did tell you about. Th thanks for that, mate. Cheers. Well, welcome to another day of um, fun in the sun. Maybe today is the turn of the hornet. Hey, a little dipstick in there. Does it, does it run though? No. That's it. Right. Big end job. No, I don't know. Be alright, mate. We'll sort it out. We we fixed this yesterday. And so, once again, the toolbox made an appearance. Well, we've lasted three miles. Less than three miles. It's off. Well, mate, there's nothing coming out. It's on on. It's on on. Put it on reserve. Oh, fuck. Well, it's exactly the same as yours. It's the same thing, then. <laughs> Oh god, we got a spanner that big. Gary! Gary! Watch out! Bet daddy look, bet daddy look! I mean, see that. Is there not normally. Well, look, well, that's the reserve hole there. So, if we fix this one as well, I'll be absolutely amazed. No, as in, as in happy, like, I'm impressed. 
because I want to go skiing. So we found the problem. Well, Gary's kind of found the problem, didn't really? Quite found it, really. Well, Gary knew it was a dive ramp. It wasn't anyway, let's not argue. Let's not. Let's not. It's the vacuum argue. pipe. It's yeah, the vacuum, vacuum pipe. pipe. The vacuum pipe popped off. We thought it was a diaphragm in here. That's not faulty. Now we put it back, and it doesn't work. So we know the fault now. So it's not terminal. It's oh, just not getting any fuel. It's not getting any fuel. Yeah, it wasn't getting any fuel. Now we put that together, and it's pushing fuel out. So there's something not quite right. Just turn that, just join, turn that yeah. diaphragm around or something and see. Blue tacket. Looks like Gary's bum after a curry. Curry, curry yeah. Mm. You just scuff? Yeah. How <laughs> <laughs> well, pleasant. Okay, assume the positions. Okay. We're like a world endurance mechanic in <laughs> pit stop team. Now, should we just show to people the uh, what the, what yeah. the Jubilee clip is? What, what's holding the. If you look at that, Sam. Cable tie. Right. The safety, stability and handling of this motorcycle may be adversely affected by the addition of accessories and luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bit more choke and that would have started. Let's hope the bike is the same. Back in the game! I mean, it's just been an extraordinary trip, isn't it? Yeah. Great. Really enjoying it. I just went to get some fuel and I've, uh, there was a little pizza shop there. So I just bought us a couple of pizzas. God, can you see the angle? This is the crosswind. It's unbearable. Oh, all that movement, that, wow. That is the wind catching my sail. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I just went and bought some pizzas. Hopefully that will uh, make everyone feel a bit better. I just hope my clutch lasts now. I might ring ahead and buy one. Get it sent to Austria. Beautiful little towns. I'm sorry for my obnoxious exhaust. Again. I don't know why I did it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Circuit Ras was established in 1926, hosting numerous Formula One Grand Prix and bike races over the years. While much of the original 7.8 kilometers was demolished and the facility closed permanently in 1972, the venue still lives on thanks to the preservation of its pit lane and grandstands. It really is a must-visit job for any motor racing enthusiast. Bonjour. Bonjour. No. Bon, no. Bonjour. No, no, bonjour. Yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour, Monsieur. Bonjour. So we're we're at Reim, Reims Ras. Ras. How you spell? I don't know how you pronounce Ras. it. Ras. Um, Racetrack. As you can see, the local hoodlums are out. Yeah. What and a beautiful place, though. I mean, it is just, cool. I like the way it's it's all sort of crap. Yeah. But like in a nice way. Yeah. It's not like Spain. No. It's vintage. It's retro chic. You had a bit of a. Um, Issue this morning, didn't it? Bit of an issue this morning. Um, thankfully, fingers crossed, it looks like it's cleared up. So, we're on the way to Zarbrücken now, aren't we? Yeah. So, the Honda's not looking quite as bulletproof as you thought? Uh, it's only a minor thing. It's not terminal. Well, I yeah, must it was... admit, when I've, when it stopped, it sounded like it was terminal. Yeah. Like, horrible. But like anyway. engine terminal. But no, it's fine. Well, fingers crossed. We thought we'd give you a bit of a run through the bikes after the escapade. Um, yeah. Sorry again for yeah. yesterday because. Um, it was just an absolute disaster, really, wasn't yeah. it? And uh, yeah. being reality, we have to deal with the issues at hand. So, anyway, we've made it here. Yes. Um, and look at our lovely motorcycles. And right now, we're going to run through some of the modifications we've, I'd say, improved. But anyway. Bodged. Yeah. Made worse. Fabricated. Ruined. So uh, let me give you a little run through of my modifications and um, general improvements to my motorcycle. So I've got some bar end mirrors here. Uh, one's actually on the wrong way round. Um, they're completely useless. I've put this one back on. I can't put it on that one because I've got a, uh, Jesus. 
because I've got a little uh, switch here. So um, this is one. This is for the night time. So if you just have a little look at this, check those bad boys out. Now these were, uh, I think they were 18 pounds from a Chinese website, and they've got a, a, an accidental strobe function, which is um, ridiculously distressing and uh, alerting. Um, that switch also operates my PA system. Vegan is an evil man. Don't know why I said that. Um, and that's got some siren function here, which is my little megaphone. Oh, I need to turn my things off. Um, and this little puppy here, this is the, this is the, uh, for a bit of the disco dancing later. If I push this little remote control, check that out. So, uh, this is, a, this is a laser light. Obviously, we're in daylight now, but on the piste, when we're having a little bit of a uh, party, this is going to be all the rage. I've got various modes. I can change the colour. Um, I can flash it. Basically, all the stuff you need on a modern motorcycle, so that's um, very important. And I've got my ultimate add-ons phone thing here, which is my sat-nav, so that's plumbed in to the battery under the seat. Um, so those are the practical things, obviously very useful. Now, moving on to my luggage setup, this is where Al actually copied me. Um, I went for the more robust option of a cheap 30 pound wheelie bin. Now that has got a massive literage. I believe it's 75 liters, solid construction, wheelie wheels, easy to use. And also because that is such a sturdy piece of luggage, I've then, if you come around here, attached my snowboard to this with a, a good old block of wood, some nails, and uh, off the pillion peg, I've got my little rack there. So, all together, that's a pretty, uh, pretty solid system. Uh, again, we've got the, for the, for the winter uh, and the cold weather, excuse the wind, it's horrendous. Um, I've got my zebra skin seat, uh, which has gone a bit weird here, it sort of looks a bit pubic. Um, I've also gone with the flow orange theme for my wheels with a fade in the centre to the white, uh, which I think adds a bit of class. And not forgetting, of course, the matching zebra skin tank. Uh, I left this at JHS Racing and they've decided to hooliganise it a bit by writing cock logic on there. Don't really know what that means. I've also got a trans sticker on my uh, rear body. Again, look at this fade. I mean, that is, a, that is a paint job and a half. Rattle can, love it. Uh, what else have we got? Got my little windscreen here. This is enough. Um, not bad. Again, someone decided to put this on my bike. I don't really know what it is. Rad guard, well, cooler guard. But again, I've uh, highlighted. And you can't go anywhere without speed stripes. So all in all, Oh, and the most important thing, which is actually really annoying, and I probably wish I'd never bought it, but this exhaust system, because I bought this bike for only £800, he bought his rubbish thing for £1,300, I had so much budget, hence why the stupid add-ons are on here. But this exhaust, with the link pipe, cost £109 from Lex Tech, and it's got a lifetime warranty. So, and there is a baffle, which I might put in, because it is pretty loud. Uh, have I missed anything? I think that's it. And she's proving to be a winner, so um, bring it on. So here we have my lovely Honda Hornet. And does she mean much to me? So unlike that horrible Suzuki thing that's been an absolute abomination, this Hornet can be changed back to standard within a few hours. So at the, the wheels, yes, you know, I painted them orange, uh, orange, I painted them pink and green and they're sort of white, a little bit of trickle ore. And yes, I didn't put that much effort into them. I should have done a bit more primer first and blah, blah, blah. anyway, the point is I have the standard wheels back at home. So obviously I had to fit a 17 inch front wheel to fit the tires because otherwise you have to have very old tire selection. Got the wheels on and on those wheels we have Bridgestone T31s as the Bandit. Uh, I did try to fit some crash protection on the engine, but they were bent. Again, I've learned so much over the last couple of weeks about buying cheap old crap. Just don't do it. 
Uh, the bars were bent and they didn't fit. And anyway, here we are today. So let's do front to back, shall we? So you can see this lovely screen. Again, $8.99 off eBay. It comes with a universal fitting kit, which isn't very universal. Uh, it's, very, it's horrendous. I mean, this, this caravan here, this sort of horse box, it looks ridiculous, but it's actually propping the screen up. Um, so what else have we got? Uh, got my Ultima add-ons phone case. We have the um, Denali sound bomb, which is from uh, a bike thing. And uh, there'll be a link in the description. I think that's about, I don't, I don't actually know the price of that, but it's well worth it. As you can hear, I mean, it's, it's 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 a it's a it's a bit of a fun bit of a gimmick, but it's hilarious. Um, what else have we got? Well, of course, we got the lovely fur, the uh, leopard print fur, um, and I kind of left it you know, because I spent a bit more on the bike. I kind of didn't have as much budget as Twinkle Toes over there, so I mean it's fairly standard. But of course, the main object of coming here was to go skiing, so. A massive, massive thank you to JHS Racing because he spent, I reckon, three days solid, pretty much, fabricating and sorting out the electrics on that shit box and this and that. So he fabricated this alley uh, setup. And as I said before, you know, why spend hundreds of pounds on panniers and stuff when you can spend 25 quid on this dog, lovely dog uh, food bin? It was 20 quid for the alley sheet. And okay, yeah, when you factor in labor, it's probably a bit more expensive, but I mean, this was eight pound from B&Q. They were one pound 50 from B&Q. I mean, it's just, it's just perfect. Um, of course, we have a bit more of a leopard print down there. But yeah, other than that, she's sweet. Our Alpine adventure would see us battle through France, Germany, and into Austria, and our final destination of Ischgl. Well, let's do it then. So we're off to uh, Saarbrücken now. Saarbrücken. And uh, yeah, it should be a nice leisurely ride. What's it? Two hours? No, th three, three, three and three a half hours. hours. Yeah. Oh, God. oh dear. Well, we've already fixed it once today, I'm not doing it again. Oh my god. There's a fuel on. It's on reserve. Fuck's sake. Oh dear. <laughs> Mate, I really can't be bought, but. I really can't be bothered to hang around. Gary, should we just go to Zarbrücken without this fucking idiot? His bike's fucked again and I'm just... I'm not yeah. Mate, just stick it in the van. Or call Bimoto and get the, the cover. Fuck it. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, cheers boys. Thanks a lot. That sounds absolutely disgusting. See you later. Man, I just, um, ju what's that mean? Hope, what it, hope it pisses down. <laughs> yeah, the sun's out, mate. We're off. Yeah, see you later. What a pair of c**ts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, guys, but I just can't be bothered. We soon realised that Al was the only one with directions to the hotel and more importantly, with tolls and fuel, the 44 teeth credit card. And also, the guilt of leaving him on the side of the road was playing on my mind. So I went back to help the effort. Right, the fun continues. We've got a local who's bought his scooter with some music. So now we're trying- One of his name's George. So now we're trying to, um, fix this utter piece of crap again. What do you reckon? Like there? Yeah. There? Yeah. Doesn't look very, oh, oh that's not a proper fuel hose though, is it? It's not braided. It's, gonna... well, it's gotta be better than that though, isn't it? It's gotta get it, if it gets into, 
It's, uh, it's too sh it's too short. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's just ring the B moto. Gems come and pick it up and take it to fucking start broken. Job done. It's free. Yeah. We're just, we're just. We're, Are you not using that hose then? Well, it's like. I mean, you, it's, it's you, not you could. Fuel but hose, it, it, is it? It, it, it's gonna rot over it, time. Yeah, but. It's, oh fuck it. Let's just give it a go. It's better than this. Uh. And it only bloody worked. Right, see how far we get. Oh, let, let the misery commence back, again. Back on the road. On the road again. I just can't wait to get road on the road again. again. I'm wanking with Big Ben. I can't wait to get on the road again. Right, how many miles do you reckon we'll get? Eight. On the road again. Oh, the, the feds. Uh, this is the Federales. Oh, it feels good to be back on the road, guys. Yeah, I'm glad you're back. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> right, well, let's um, push on, do some miles, and yeah. uh, catch up with you in a bit. Probably at the next breakdown. Oh, Chris, don't be like that. Right, I'm not saying back to the Hornet, just generally. Okay. Once again, thanks to a lengthy breakdown, our schedule went right down the pan and we had to resort to motorway miles to ensure we'd reach Zabrucken before the pub closes. Right, this is the worst part of... Well, apart from bikes breaking down, this has to be the worst part of any bike tours, doesn't it? Whoa! Oh, for God's sake. Oh, well, it's, it's getting me a freebie. Yeah. It's alright, love, it's alright, I've done it. Well, we're just coming into Zarbrucken now, which is uh, not far off. I think we're about 10k's. You can't miss Captain with his yellow jacket on, and you certainly can't miss Captain with his uh, that thing on. It's horrendous. <laughs> oh, I've got epilepsy, steady. On the road again. Come on, my baby! Still, she's still strong. She's still strong. We just pulled over to put Chris's disco lights on. It's obviously the most important thing. It absolutely is the most important thing. You've got to arrive in style, haven't you? Yeah, true. Well, at least we're arriving full yeah, stop, I really. Mean, I'm, I, I honestly, I'm absolutely ecstatic. Honestly, I can't wait for a beer. We're going to celebrate because we've had a great time. Well, no, it's not been a great time, but... It's been an awfully shit time, actually. But I, we've made it, guys. And my bike started again, so we're all good. I've got my black visor on. Can't see anything in there. And I've got my clear visor on because uh, that's how I roll. Well, I can see your disco light, so everything's fine. It's a guiding light. Yeah. To the strangers in the night. I had a big shite. It gave me a fright. But it was awfully bright. <laughs> I feel... Mm, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Spreck of the dick. I have an uncanny first. You have an elephant. My bike won't idle, so I'm going to sort of overly rev it. Yeah, you've had a bit of a bad day today, haven't you, mate? I've had a bad day, but it's not, you know... At least we're we're in the game still, you know. You're in the game. And yeah. I, I mean, honestly, mate, I thought the game was over earlier. I know you were looking at buying another bloody bike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Am God. I flaming? No. Well, hold it on the limiter. It <laughs> <laughs> just a load of smoke. What an obnoxious oik. 
fire, just you down to a tee, isn't it? <laughs> Team Bandit, it's all up in your grill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I not think, just I a visual I'm, feast, it's I, an audible feast. I think your engine's going to be up in your grill tomorrow. <laughs> Mate, the Bandit, she is absolutely rock solid now. Wow, well, you say that. D-I-S-C-O. D-I-S-C-O. D-I-C-K-S. D-I-C-K-S. Her name is Denzel. Her name is Lola. She, she has was a showgirl. And she took it up the shit. <laughs> In are broken. Her patch got broken. <laughs> <laughs> Covered in bacon, her virginity was taken. In are broken. <laughs> I think this looks quite pretty. This was um, eight ninety nine. That was. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, to be fair, it's the only thing that's actually worked without fail since we started. I'm just glad we made it. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, we haven't got there yet. Finally, we arrived at the Mercure in Saarbrücken, desperate for a tepid shandy. Needless to say, the locals were uber impressed with the Alpine Steeds. Oh, what a shithole. What up, mate? My God. That was a long, hard day of Faffing and looking after Honda bloody Hornets. Well, it makes a change, doesn't it? Well, I think we've, you've had more issues than I have so far. No. Yeah, you've cost us way more time. No. Yes. No. Yes. No way, mate. Mate, well, how long were we on the side of the road for today? From a bit. That's his answer to everything. Anything that, when he, when he doesn't know the answer to something, he's just like, oh, yeah, let's have a beer. Because that's what cool people say, honestly. You suck today. You suck! Saarbrücken is the capital and largest city of the German state of Saarland. Products included iron and steel, sugar, pottery, optical instruments, machinery, construction materials, and of course, beer. Well, cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. I mean, that was one of the most eventful days I've had on a motorcycle. It was a long one. Mm. I didn't expect to be here. Bad one for you, mate. Yes, yeah, but it's evened things up a bit, isn't it? I think it's gone beyond even. No. It's, it's logical. How long did we take fixing your bike today? A while. It was five hours. Mate, before those two beers we just had, listen, it was three hours, so... Listen, no, no, it no. was five hours. We left at, what, three? And we got there at 11. 12. No, 10. Left where at three? When it, when it finally worked. It was after three o'clock. Okay, anyway, let's, let's... Anyway, it was five hours was fixing five your hours. bike. It wasn't five hours. Uh, okay, well, it was. And in fact, you can look back through the Instagram and see. Okay. Anyway, let's not ignore those trivialities. It's not a triviality. It's actually a really big, important part because we missed the rest of the day, didn't we? We did. We also missed the whole of yesterday, thanks to you, mate. We didn't miss the whole of yesterday. We did. We, we missed, were delayed we missed for an the hour. Train. No, we didn't miss the train. We got the next train. No. What, half past three? It wasn't half past three. It was no way half past three. We got to France at half past four, mate. We didn't. You are such a liar. I, I, <laughs> look, I have no problem admitting that, that, that my bike had a problem yesterday, but I will not condone lying. And that, sir, is an outrageous, egregious lie. Stop dropping the big words trying to impress people, mate. What happened yesterday? I'm not trying to impress people. Just the people that will understand it will agree with me. Anyway, today's 
I lost. I, I, I admit that today was a bad loss. Tomorrow is another day. Mm. I'm running on, on all four cylinders. I'm confident again. Uh, but I've got to say, I mean, yeah, it was, it was, again, sat by the side of the road, tank off the bike, bits, tools flying everywhere, and yet we managed as a team. You know, yeah. Forget the forget the beef that there obviously is. Yeah. You know, the we, we mixed it. And, and I thought the most ingen ingenious thing, we took the overflow fuel pipe from the yes. from where you fill up the, the tank and then you get that dribble pipe. Yeah. And we the converted pipe, that yeah. into the new fuel, fuel pipe, pipe yeah. and breather section. So yeah. that was pretty ingenious. Um, my, my hands are stinging. All the, all the fuel has literally rubbed the skin off my hands, but I don't care, I'm back in the game. And I didn't expect to be sat here with my bike gear still on drinking a beer with my buddies. At one point, he did actually say to me, should we just Google another bike? <laughs> well, you know, the thing is, as I said to we've you... Know, got to get, we've got to get to Austria. We have to get to Austria. Yeah. I, we have put so much work into just getting to this point that, and, and the, the whole point, yeah, all we always say about BBB is, is the journey. Yeah. But the destination is where it's at for here. Because yeah. it's, so, it's going to be so special and so unique that we have to make it happen. And whatever, yeah. rain, snow, wind, crying, whatever, it is gonna happen, so. Well, it's forecast to snow tomorrow on the way. Is it? Yeah, rain for 90% of the day, then snow. Okay. Yay. Can't wait to sit on my uh, fur seat after it's covered in rain and snow. And ice, thawing ice. Well, look, let's just have a good night tonight. Let's have a bloody good night. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. Loser. So, did I say that out loud? Sorry. <laughs> The Budget Bike Battle! Alpine, sponsored by BOTB. Yalla lily!